Go Burns and the Crow Club presents the comedy drama action thriller of the fall. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Go Burns here. And uh, see, we're in Vinewood, so we're going to you know, make it all movie style. We're going to get these people in part in a movie. <laughs> They're in several parts now. <laughs> Vinewood's having a bang, a blast for once. No more duds in Vinewood. Just a bunch of blasts and carnage. <laughs> the movies have just got reels in Vinewood. <laughs> Janine and her trusty tank must make it all the way up the hill to the Vinewood sign. Can they do it? Or will they be stopped by the vile evil? LSPD. <laughs> oh, look at that explosion. Damn! <laughs> we spared no expense today. <laughs> oh, shit. You know something? Tanks are not very good for going up hills. <laughs> not really. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm stuck. Oh, damn it. All right, there we go. <laughs> All right. More explosions. Because that is the uh, Michael Bay formula. Explosions. Yes! Who needs a plot? Who needs good acting or character development when you have explosions and special effects? <laughs> That's pretty much what most movies are now. With a few exceptions, a few days ago, I did see the new Godzilla movie. Finally came out on video. Not bad. It was definitely way better than that 90s Matthew Broderick piece of crap. Oh, man, that was painful to watch back in the day. Oh, it's sad. But honestly, I think that Godzilla is once again in safe hands with the current writing and directing team. And I think the same guy, what, Edwards? I think he's going to be doing, what, episode... I think he's doing, like, a... No, not, not one of the episodes. Like a spinoff of Star Wars. So that's kind of weird. Anyways. As long as they don't let Michael Bay touch Star Wars, I'm cool. It's all good. <laughs> he touches too many uh, <laughs> things. I bet he does. <laughs> I don't even know what I was talking about right there. Hey, more explosions! <laughs> like I said, who needs a plot? Who needs character development? Who needs all those things that used to make movies so great? <laughs> when we have CGI <laughs> out the ass. <laughs> oh, man. I am having trouble getting up the damn hill. <laughs> One simple plot point here, and I can't even accomplish it. <laughs> but we are blowing up a lot of cop cars, aren't we? <laughs> oh, man. Only in Vinewood. <laughs> uh, see? A cool camera angle. And once again, I can't get up the hill. And the uh, Vinewood sign is so close, yet so far away. <laughs> it's a love story. It's about my trans female character, Janine, and the bond she has with her special tank, and the drive against all odds to get to the Vinewood sign. Roads, they don't need roads. All they need is each other. <laughs> and explosions. <laughs> uh, but you know who I have real respect for? Not the so-called movie actors and actresses. Those that actually get on a stage, like over here to the right, an amphitheater or Broadway, you know, that actually know how to perform. And what's that word I'm looking for? Starts with an A. What is it? Oh, that's right, act. Yes, what a concept. Actors and actresses that actually know how to act. Because there's only so much you can do in a movie. I mean, who knows how many times it takes these celebrities to uh, get the lines right. I mean, I'm not, they're not all bad. There's some really good actors and actresses in Hollywood, Vinewood, whatever. It's the same thing. <laughs> That's basically what this game is, a satire of reality. You know, especially Hollywood in this circumstance. Yes, there are very few really good movie and TV actors and actresses out there. However, most of them suck. And I wonder how many times they have to read their lines before they actually get that part right. <laughs> See, more explosions! Michael Bay, eat your heart out. <laughs> I'm stuck against this tree. Hey, what's this tree doing here? 
That wasn't in the script. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I just... It's just so hard to actually enjoy a movie nowadays. Because most of the time, it's crap. Most of the time, it's garbage. And it's remakes after remakes. And I realize that Godzilla is technically a remake. But at the same time, I don't think it's necessarily the, the remake issue that bothers me. It's the fact that those doing the remake really have no business making said remake. They're not passionate about the product, about the content, about the material, about the origins. And when that happens, you get shit. But the prime example of success is the team behind the current ep movie of Godzilla. So if you haven't watched Godzilla yet, I'd highly recommend it, especially if you love movies like that. Plus, Brian Cranston rocks. He's one of those few actors that actually can act. One of the few. He's going to be big, I think. I mean, he was in Malcolm in the Middle. He was in uh, Breaking Bad. Badass character. <laughs> Walter. <laughs> but anyways, uh, I'm stuck. See, once again, this wasn't in the script either. I was supposed to get up to the damn sign. <laughs> Another Vinewood bomb. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this edition of Tank Misadventures Monday. If you did, for whatever rhyme or reason, <laughs> hit the like button. And what was your favorite movie this year? Let me know below in the comments section. And be sure and check out my channel for daily content seven days a week. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. That helps my gaming channel grow. I also have a Facebook page for you to like and a Twitter for you to follow. As always, thanks for watching.